Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys what I think are the best project timeline settings for 4K 10-bit video in DaVinci Resolve Studio. It doesn't really matter what page you're in, but I'm gonna be on the edit page. I'm gonna go to the bottom right corner right here to the project settings button, click on that. Now for resolution, 4K, your timeline frame rate and playback frame rate should match whatever you plan to export in which for me, almost everything I do is in 24 frames per second. NTSC, which is 23.976. Video monitoring, this will depend on your actual monitor. So I have a 4K monitor, and I like the format to actually match my frame rate for the video that I'm editing. So I'm at UHD 2160 4K. SDI, I leave that at default, I don't mess with that. Data levels, video, do not change that. Video bit depth. Now, like I mentioned, this is for 10-bit video, so I have 10-bit on. I don't mess with monitor scaling, leave that at bilinear. Optimize media and render cache. This is totally up to you. Proxy media resolution, I leave that automatic. Proxy media format, H.264. Optimize media, choose automatically. Optimize media format, uncompressed 10-bit. Render cache format, uncompressed 10-bit. You can adjust these depending on your computer. Depending on your graphics card and your processor, you might want to change things. I'm running on a 3800 RTX graphics card and an i7 PC, so this works fine for me. Working folders, also whatever you guys prefer on where you like to have your proxies and your cache located. Now we're gonna go to the next page, image scaling. I leave resize filter at sharper and deinterlace quality, which is if you're using old interlaced footage in your video, you can leave normal. I like to leave it at high, I think it does a better job. I've tried DaVinci Neural Engine, which is supposed to be pretty good. However, whenever there's a white wall, very bright, blown out sky. DaVinci Neural Engine seems to have a lot of artifacts for me, so I leave it at high and it works fine. Everything else I leave at default. Now, color management is the next page. I've made a video on this channel that breaks down color management, and I highly suggest you guys watch that. It's on the DaVinci Resolve playlist on this channel. So real quick, I'll just tell you what I work with. Color Science, DaVinci YRGB. Timeline Color Space, DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. Output Color Space, Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. Everything else I leave at default and I leave all the other pages set to their default settings. If you wanna save this as a project settings preset, you can click on the little options button here on the top right corner, save current settings as preset, you can name it whatever you want. I have this one for 4K 10 bit. And as you can see, I have other presets that I've already made for HD 24P, HD 60P, vertical 24P, vertical 60P. If you wanna download and install any of these presets that I already have made, I do have a link in the description of this video where you can download all these presets for free. Once you download them and put them on your computer, to import them, it's actually really simple. You just go right here to import preset, locate the file, and now you'll have my presets. So there you guys have it. Those are my timeline project settings for 4K 10-bit video. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. We also have a DaVinci Resolve playlist on this channel with a lot more tutorials, so make sure to check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.